Hi, fourth grade. It's Mrs. Snyder here. I was missing teaching you in person, so I thought I'd try a new way to do our lesson this week. So this week we are going to work on closed syllables. I'm going to call this lesson one because we will do another lesson on this next week. So let's get started. Let me move myself here. There we go. What is a closed syllable? A closed syllable is a word or syllable that ends with a consonant. The vowel before the consonant is usually short. Let's take a look at some of these examples right here. You'll notice I have our P underlined because it's a consonant acting as a closed consonant to close this syllable. This P closes this vowel to make it a short vowel sound, a ah, in k, a, ah, p, cap. This P is our consonant that closes this vowel to make it the ah sound in sh, op, shop. This T is our consonant that closes this vowel sound to make it a short vowel sound. At, at. And this M is our consonant that closes this vowel to make it a short vowel sound. B, um, bump. Now, words can also have more than one closed syllable. Let's take a look at some of those examples. I've already split our words into two syllables. This D closes this vowel to make it a short vowel. N, odd, nod. And this D closes this vowel to make it a short vowel sound. D, ed, dead, nod. Dead, nodded. Let's take a look at our next one. I have two syllables. In my first syllable, the S is what makes it the closed syllable by closing off the vowel and making it an a ah sound. Pull, ass, plas. And the C is what closes this syllable, making it a short I sound. I, I, t, I, k, tick. Plastic, plastic. Our third example, I've already split it into two syllables here. The B closes our first syllable, giving this an A ah in t, ab, tab. And this T closes this syllable, giving us a short sound, u, et, let. We have tab, let tablet. And our last example, two syllables each with a closed syllable. The T closes the I, giving it an I in W, it, wit. And the S closes the E to give it E in N, S, Ness, wit, Ness, witness. Now, let's take a look at a couple of more closed syllables. Sometimes a word has more than one syllable, but only one of those syllables has a short vowel sound. Let me show you what I mean. This word has two syllables. In the first syllable, the P is underlined because it acts as a closed syllable. It closes this vowel to give it the I sound, d, I, dip. You'll notice the R is not underlined here because it does not close this syllable. If you remember, ER work together to say er. So this syllable says p, er, per, dip, per, dipper. Let's look at another example. I've got two syllables. My first syllable is a closed syllable because the M closes the vowel, making it a short vowel sound. Er, um, rum. Now here's my E, but I'm not considering it a closed syllable because the L E works together here to give the syllable O sound. We've got bo, oles, bowls, rum, bowls, rumbles. Okay, let's look at example number three. I've got two syllables. 
The first syllable, the L, is what closes the I to give it the I sound. W, ill, will. But I don't have my W underlined. Because if you think back and you remember our previous vowel patterns, O, W work together to give us the O sound. O, O, low, will, low, willow. And let's look at our last example of where only one of the syllables is a closed syllable. The L is underlined here because it closes off our short vowel E sound, eh, 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 for w, L, well. Now I've got two vowels over here. The M does not close this off. This is a sight word, come, where the E and the O don't even follow the typical silent E rule. So we've got well, come, welcome. It's a closed syllable if the consonant closes off the vowel sound to make it a short vowel sound. Let's read some together. You'll notice I have them color coded for you like on the previous page. I want you to sound them out with me looking to see if we have a closed syllable or no closed syllable. I've got two syllables. We have a closed syllable here and a closed syllable here. Sound it out with me. Bull an. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Bull an. Blan k et ket. Blanket. Blanket. Good. Next one. I've got a closed syllable here and a closed syllable here. Sound it out with me. Boss. Bloss. Som. Som. Blossom. Blossom. Good. Next example. I've got a closed syllable here, but not here because remember O W works together to say O. W ill. Will. Low. Willow. Nice. Next one. Two syllables. This one's a closed syllable and this one's a closed syllable. D, is, dis, tant, distant. Excellent. Next one. Closed syllable. No closed syllable. Fog, fog, gee. Foggy. Excellent. Next one. You decide now, closed or not closed, based on whether I have some underlines. Ready? Foss. Foss. Sil. Fossil. Great. Next one. M. M. Mem. Burr. Member. Fantastic. And the next one. Pull. An. Plan, ner, planner. Excellent. Now it's your turn to read. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to put each one in your brain, and then we'll read the word together. Okay? So put this first word in your brain and think about it. Read the word with me. Slender. Good. Next one. Think. Read it with me. Summer. Fantastic. Next one, think. Read it with me. Swallow. Good reading. Next word, think. Read it with me. Frantic. Good. Next word, think. Read it with me. Thriller. Excellent. Next word, think. Read it with me. Traffic. Next word, think. Read it with me. Submit. Good. And last one, read it with me. Oh, I'm sorry, think. Read it with me. Muffin. Nice job, kids. Now, we also have to be able to write with closed syllables. So how do we make sure that we are using the correct spelling when we're writing? Well, we have two things we can do. We want to determine how many syllables are in the word, and we can clap the word to figure that out. And then we're going to finger tap the sounds in each syllable. I'll show you. So first thing we're going to do 
is we're going to clap the word. The word I'm going to use is picnic. Picnic. That's two syllables. So I know I have two word parts I have to work with here. Now I'm going to think about the first syllable. Pick. P. I. K. P. P. First sound. P. I. Second sound. P. I. K. Third sound. Now I'm going to think about the next syllable. Nick. Pick. N-ick. Picnic. Good. All right, let's write some together. So you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil. If you haven't gotten one already, please go get one now. I'll give you a couple of seconds in case you don't have one. Okay, for each word that I say, we're going to clap it into syllables and then we're going to finger tap each syllable. Are you ready? First word, husband. Husband. Us. Bend. B. And. Get your sounds down. Let's check it. Okay, so for husband, the sound that you might have had tricky with right here is B. A, 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 a sound because b end doesn't sound right um, or doesn't match right here. So as you're working on some words, you're going to have to make some mental notes of sometimes words use a slightly different sound than what we hear. And that's how spelling, um, spelling practice helps us out. Let's try the next word, shutting, shutting, shutting. Ready to check? Shutting. Okay, next word. Muffin. Muffin. M -a -f -f in. This one's pretty direct. How did you do with muffin? Yeah, I thought so. That one's an easy one. Next one. Upset. Upset. Up. Set. Check your work. Good. Next word, we've got two more. Ribbon. Ribbon. Er, ib, b, in. This one's a harder one, like husband. The first syllable's easy. R ib, b, in. We need an O there. Okay. And the last word, sudden. Sudden. S, ud, d, n. Got your sounds down. Check your work. Sudden. Great job. Okay, now it's your turn to write. So you can use the same piece of paper, the bottom of it or the back of it. And what you're going to do is, I'm going to say a word and use it in a sentence. You need to write the sentence, uh, I'm sorry, you need to write the word on your own. So you clap the syllables, you finger tap each syllable, and we're not going to check these together. You're going to turn this into me so that I can see how you did on your own. Okay, we've got six of them. Ready? Number one, velvet. I wore a velvet dress to the holiday play. Velvet. Next word, catnip. We give our cat some catnip for a special treat. Catnip. Next word, submit. When you are finished with your work, you must submit it so I can check it. Submit. Okay, number four, winter. We did not have much snow this past winter. Winter. Next word, album. I put all my vacation pictures in an album so I don't lose them. Album. And last one, manner. Saying please and thank you is an example of a good manner. Manner. All right, that's it for today's lesson, everybody. Um, what I want you to do to turn in your work is take a picture um, with either your laptop or a phone, doesn't matter. And you can upload that picture directly into Google Classroom and hit submit. 
Or if it's easier for you, just email the picture to me um, at J-E-N-S-N-Y at B-H-A-S-D dot org. That's all. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week for part two of Closed Syllables. Bye.